why hello there it is 93 days until elden ring comes out on february 25th 2022 and this is the elden weight countdown where every day i cover another item description from the network test to get ourselves to launch and have some fun along the way let's get into it today i am talking about the raya lucarian robe and the item description says robe worn by raya lucaria's magic scholars those who dedicated themselves to the study of glintstones formed from starry amber received this modest yet elegant deep blue garb along with their vows of virtue and austerity. But with extended life, one is apt to forget old vows. So there is a whole bunch going on here. This is the first time we have talked about the Magic Academy of Raya Lucaria and I will not be getting into every facet of it today because we have other item descriptions which will be covering other parts of that. So I think what I want to focus on here is what are glintstones? In this description it says glintstones are formed from starry amber. And in the closed network test when we talk to the sorceress Selen, she expands upon this a bit further by saying, Our art draws upon the powers embedded in glintstone. But what is the nature of such power? Glinstone is the amber of the cosmos. Golden amber contains the remnants of ancient life and houses its vitality, while glinstone contains residual life and thus the vitality of the stars. It should not be forgotten that glinstone sorcery is the study of the stars and the life therein. A fact lost on most sorcerers these days. So basically, glintstone is cosmic amber containing the vitality of the stars. It is magical. And the study of glintstone sorcery done by the Raya Lucarian Academy is to study the glintstone and to study the stars and the life therein. As Sophie pointed out in this really great video she made about the network test, you can see that there is a meteorite in these mines. So glintstones are coming from the sky, falling, and they contain the vitality of the stars. And this was enough for not only Raya Lucaria, but also the Carrion royal family to spend quite a bit of time and to really get wrapped up in the study of glintstones. So we have seen the Raya Lucarian robes, the SGF gameplay trailer, where we see what I think is likely to be Raya Lucaria, the academy itself, and we see the player sneaking up on some Raya Lucarian scholars. So Raya Lucaria, the academy, studied glintstones as their main focus, and it's the study of the stars in the life therein, but they were not the only ones, as we will learn in future item descriptions that the Carrion royal family was also very interested in glintstones as well, and why this may end up changing is not entirely known right now, but I think it could have something to do with the end of this item description, which says, But with extended life, one is apt to forget old vows. I think as part of the study of the stars and the glintstone that the Raya Lucarian scholars may have found some ways to extend their life and this would be considered unnatural and as we will learn with the Carrion royal family that in the age of the air tree and as the golden order became a thing it seems like their interest in the stars sort of waned as they became more interested in the golden order which seems to value the natural order of life. So as you can imagine, extending your life is unnatural and probably at odds with the golden order. And there you have it. That is the Raya Lucarian robe for day 93. For day 92, which is Thanksgiving in the US, I will be doing sort of a festive item description before we get more into Raya Lucaria. And what item do you think I have chosen to cover for Thanksgiving? Let me know in the comments what items you think are fitting for the American holiday of Thanksgiving. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. It helps me out a lot and gets me on the algorithm, which gets more people watching the video and enjoying and interacting, which is great. And if you want to continue to get item descriptions read, explained, talked about as we approach launch, 
please consider subscribing to the Lore Hunter. Once Elden Ring does come out, there will be tons more item descriptions to look at, and I will be going headlong into the lore of Elden Ring after I beat it, of course. So that is something to look forward to by subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.